Okay, VAs, um, I have found a website that we're going to be using to start creating our video tutorials. It's called Screencast Omatic. We will all be using the same user name and password. Um, I'll be forwarding those to you in an email. Uh, just in case, username is um, myoutdesk411 at gmail.com. Password is what the um, hyphen. So I'm going to be watching this video. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I just want to make sure that you guys all know the basics on how to create video tutorials this is going to be very helpful for our future trainees. All right, here we go. And uh, I will be pausing throughout to make additional comments uh, customized to our type of tutorials. Size the frame via the uh, resize boxes uh, so you can choose uh, a custom size if you need that. Or if you want one of the standard sizes, you can use the menu here, uh, which clicking on it will bring up uh, the default sizes that we had before. Just as a reminder, the HD sizes are um, good for YouTube. Uh, and if you wanted to upload to screencastomatic.com, anything above 800 by 600 will be. Shrunk down to a maximum width of 800 pixels, um, and you can also, of course, choose the full screen option right here. So uh, the default microphone on your machine will be selected. If you want to change to um, perhaps a USB mic or no audio, you can use this menu here. Uh, once you do any of those uh, configuration steps, the, then you can start your recording by clicking the record button. Uh, we also offer now the option of using the global uh, hotkey uh, Alt P on Windows or Movie Option P on Mac. Um, so doing that will toggle between recording and paused. Uh, so if we did it right now, since we are paused, it would start the recording. We'll go ahead and just click the record button. That now has a quick countdown. Uh, now it's recording uh, everything that happens within the red frame here. You can drag uh, uh, frame around of the screen if you need to um, and then if you need to pause you can either hit alt p again or click the pause button uh, at this point you can preview anything um, that you've got so far uh, if you uh, have used the preview bar and then want to view what, what's going on behind the screen again uh, you can click anywhere as this message says uh, to go back and view that uh, you now have the option of completely restarting um, if you want to go back uh, and start over that will take you back to the setup uh, phase so that you can start from zero. And uh, as you could before, if you had some recording uh, and wanted to go back and, uh, and cut off a portion of that, start from a certain um, point. Uh, for example, in this case, we'll do right at second three. Uh, if we click on uh, the record button at this point, it'll ask us to make sure that we want to go back and um, truncate to position uh, three, which means that we would throw away anything after uh, after that second, or if we wanted to uh, go back and continue at the very end of the capture. So if we choose that, it goes back to um, second four where we were at. Uh, when you're all done, you just click the done button. That will go ahead and bring you to the preview page where you can view your screencast uh, and choose what you want to do with it. Um, so you have the option of uploading to screencastomatic.com. You can give a title and description. You can do some optional notes here. example, if you wanted to pick um, at second five here, you wanted to have a note, um, you can add that. Uh, this will show up as a link uh, on the view page so that if your viewer wants to jump to that particular event, they can uh, click right on uh, the link. Thank you. 
Uh, we will be uploading all of these to YouTube to the myoutdesk one at gmail.com account. That's where we're going to be saving all of our tutorials. Alright guys, so pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to be talking to Jason, Daniel, Lily, and uh, Julie and seeing what tutorial videos we're going to be creating and uh, hopefully get everything in motion so that we can have a streamlined tutorial process for our future trainees. Alright, thank you and let me know if you have any questions.